A particular type of COVID-19 treatment was a popular topic during a roundtable meeting. Governor DeSantis held it this morning with medical experts and with Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry. News for Jack's anchor Tarek Miner joining us now to explain what monoclonal antibody therapy is and whether the treatment is being offered locally, Tarek. Yeah, so monoclonal antibodies are laboratory-made proteins that mimic the immune system's ability to fight off harmful viruses like COVID-19. They are very effective in providing patients diagnosed with the virus with some relief from the symptoms, but only if hospitals have the resources and staff to administer it. And right now, many local hospitals are overwhelmed. We really don't hear as much, at least publicly, about uh, if you do get infected, you know, what are your options? Governor Ron DeSantis is talking about monoclonal antibodies. They're an injectable antibody treatment that's administered on an outpatient basis aimed at preventing serious illness from COVID-19. What monoclonal <laughs> antibodies are, they're a laboratory-derived protein. They kind of mimic the immune system's ability to fight off harmful pathogens such as viruses, <laughs> such as COVID-19. They almost give our body the signal like, hey, there's an infection here, come. Infectious disease expert Dr. Mohamed Reza says it's suggested that the antibody is injected within six to 10 days of knowing that you've got COVID-19. You want to get this as soon as possible if you've been diagnosed with COVID and it's available for people that are symptomatic. So you have to have some symptoms and there are risk stratifications that whichever facility you're getting this from that will determine if you are a candidate for it. And these monoclonals, I know you and I talked about, uh, have had a really good track record. During this morning's roundtable with the governor, the CEO of Tampa General Hospital said the injection is effective in almost all of their patients in Tampa, adding that your physician must first determine whether you can benefit from the antibodies. Almost 100 percent of our patients have told us that 24 to 48 hours later, they feel much better and symptoms start to subside. News for Jax has learned that the antibody treatment is offered at local hospitals like Baptist and UF Health, but hospital workers are overwhelmed with patients suffering from severe symptoms or patients in the ICU. Dr. Reza says the monoclonal antibody treatment is authorized for non-hospitalized patients with mild or moderate illness due to COVID. It is a medication that's given by IV, so it's not something you can just, you know, take by mouth and go home with it. So it's got to be something that's administered in a facility. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why. And given the number of patients we're seeing with COVID-19 markedly increase, that's likely why it's supply and demand like anything else. So if you were recently diagnosed with COVID, it's suggested that you first contact your doctor, obviously, to see if you qualify for this treatment. Monoclonal antibody treatment is also being considered for patients as a preventative measure for those who are immunocompromised and may be vulnerable to the virus even after they've been vaccinated for it.